Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is CoinX and you're welcome to CoinX The Producer, where we bring you the most fascinating facts and tools to boost your creative projects. So we'll be checking out AI tool that you would never believe is free and exist. And we are talking about Audacity. For those who might not know, Audacity is a free open source digital audio workstation that has been a staple in the audio editing community for years. But what if I told you that Audacity has recently leveled up with some mind-blowing AI tools? So today we'll be checking out those new features in Audacity. But before we jump right into it, there are a few things we need to install first for us to be able to use it. Now, I'll be leaving the link in the description. You need to go there, download it, and it's super easy to install. So let me quickly show you. On this page, I would recommend you get the latest version of Audacity, as you can see, 3.6.1. Then when you get to this page, just click here to download this file. And it's super easy. As you can see the instructions here, during installation, just tick or enable the options you want. But I will suggest just leave it the way it is because the time I activated all this like this, I noticed that the size was a whole lot. As you can see here, current selection requires at least 22.97 gigabytes. You know, so I would recommend just leave it the way it is. So click next and finish up. But I've done that already, so I'm not going to reinstall it. After installing, launch Audacity and go to Edit, Preferences, and Models. Then under here, you come to Mod-OpenVINO and make it enable, all right? And click OK, close it and relaunch it. Then you can now see them either under the analyzer section, as you can see here, OpenVINO Whisper Transcription. You can also see them under Effects here and you can see it under Generate. All right, so the first tool we'll be checking out is the AI noise suppression. So this is the vocal we'll be working with. Mic test one and two. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Coinex and you're welcome to Coinex the producer. So if you paid very close attention, you will notice that this beginning section, there is a whole lot of background noise. So now, how do we engage this? You first of all, double click on the file you want to apply the effect on, then head over to effects. You will see the section here, open Vino AI effects. So wanna try the noise suppression, we'll click on it and it pops up. Here you can see interface device, open Vino interface device. My system is on CPU and you wanna check the details of the CPU, you can click here to find out. The noise suppression model you're gonna use, they have two, the deep filter net two and three. So let's try the two. And after that, you hit apply, give it time to process. And there you have it, it's done. As you can see from the waveform, you notice that it has completely cleaned out those background noises. So let's preview to hear it. Mic test one and two, hello. And welcome back to my channel. My name is Coinex, and you're welcome to Coinex the producer. Mic test one and two. Now, the more amazing part is this. You don't even need an internet to use these AI tools. They run locally on your computer. All right, now let's try the model three and see, because I can see a little bit of, I think the background noise is in here. Let's see if the model three will completely wipe that out. And I can see this option here. And I don't think we'll be needing that for now. Then apply. And there you have it. You see, it did an amazing job. Mic test one and two. Hello and welcome back to my channel. And here is the one Audacity came with, as you can see the noise reduction. All right, hold on, I need to engage this first. Noise reduction, as you can see, this is the one it came with where you can get the noise profile you know, do some adjustments here and 
process it, which is also super nice, okay? So that is it for noise suppression. And that takes us to the next feature. The next feature is the AI transcription plugin powered by whisper.cpp. This plugin listens to your vocal tracks and transcribe them into text. Actually, this is a game changer for podcasters and anyone working with spoken word content. It even offers translation capabilities, which means you can reach a global audience effortlessly and completely free. So guys, let's check it out. All right, we'll be using this voiceover to try out this transcription too. Imagine transforming your words into stunning visuals with just a few clicks. Today, we're diving into the groundbreaking world of Runway ML's Gin 2 text to video feature. Let me quickly highlight that section and engage the two. This time around, we'll go to Analyze and you see Open Vino Whisper Transcription. And we'll call it up CPU Whisper Model. It has only one base mode transcribe. So as you can see, it can transcribe or translate. For language, leave it at auto. Let's check the advanced settings, initial prompts and all that. All right, we don't need this for now. So once we are okay with the settings, we hit apply. And there we have it. As you can see, it is done. If you look closely to this section, you can see the write-ups. So let me play back the vocals. Imagine transforming your words into stunning visuals with just a few clicks. Today, we're diving into the groundbreaking world of Runway ML's Gin 2 text to video feature. If you wanna have this text file, all you need to do is to go to file, export orders, but first of all, highlight the channel, file, export orders, export labels. Then you now name it whatever you want and save. As you can see, it's in TXT format. And that is it. Here is the file. So let's open it. And there you have it the written text of the audio file we transcribed, as you can see. So that is it for the transcription. Imagine creating music from just a text description with Audacity's AI music generation tool. You can impute a text prompt describing the kind of sound you want. It generates a unique piece of music for you. This tool, according to Audacity, uses AI advanced models like stable diffusion, and refusion to bring your ideas to life. All right, guys, so let's check it out. And as you can see on the screen, I've already generated one, which I typed in the prompt, slow reggae track. Let me quickly play it so that you see what it generated. I believe you heard that. So let me quickly now go through the process on how to generate it. So click on generate, go down to this section, click on it. Then when it pops up on this column, type in the prompt you want. So I will type hip hop instrumental. And after that, I will switch it to this one. As you can see. Then after that, I will Click on generate. Give it time to process. And there you have it. Let's preview it and hear what it generated. And that is it for music generation but to be very honest i'm not too sure about this one for me i feel it's not yet there or i'm not getting the right prompts to generate what i really want but guys feel free to try it out maybe you can figure it out and share your thoughts in the comments and that takes us to the last two music separation have you ever wanted to remix a song but didn't have the stems? Now, Dacity's music separation tool can isolate vocals, drums, bass, and other instruments from any track. We all know that many uh, DAW do this same thing like FL Studio and many other ones. But 
it's really cool to see audacity do the same for free so guys let's check it out and here i'll be using this track right here let me mute all these ones i'll be using this song when the world is weighing down on your shoulders so that is what i'll be using but i will try as much as possible to keep it simple so how do you call up the two you go so i'm gonna highlight the track go to effects head down to open vino and you can see their music separation click on it and and here we have it so let's do some adjustments as you can see here separation mode it has two stem separation which is instruments and vocals and four stems drum bass vocals and others so let's just take that one but in a situation where you just want the vocals and the instruments you just simply click this one so but we'll go for the four stem and uh, cpu advanced option shift i don't really know what this is so let's just leave it the way it is and after we apply give it time to finish and now it is done as you can see it has separated every element you know and place them on individual channel so let's listen to them one after the other The road I left feels so long Just keep away, keep on moving forward You're stronger than you know, you're not alone you know, it's so surprising to see Audacity having such feature and making it available for free for anyone that is interested to use it. So guys, there you have it. Incredible AI tools available in Audacity. Now, before I conclude, just to add this, they now added more themes to the interface of Audacity. As you can see, the classic, which is the default, the original one we all know the light which is this one i'm on right now then the dark which is my favorite and let's quickly switch to that so that you see how it is so as you can see this is the dark theme so that is it guys for today's video if you found this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell icon for more amazing content like this let us know in the comments which ai tool you are most excited to try out in audacity all right stay creative stay focused and see you guys in the next one bye for now